All right, it's Monday, October 16th. Just getting started for today. It's 6.56 in the morning. And uh, just got the chart up. And going to be making sure that I got all the accounts on my copier trading that I want to be trading and make sure the contracts are correct. And just kind of looking here, maybe it's these two legs up and these two legs up. Possible we have measured move now. All right, let's see what happens. All right, it's a little after 7.30. Still haven't seen any setups. Changed my measured move. Um, instead of these two legs up, now I've got checking as one leg up and a second leg up, and it looks like we're almost there. And we just hit the previous day's highs, uh, but no setups for me so far. So I'm just hanging out and waiting. Let's see what happens. All right, so I still got no setups. It's eight o'clock. Just hit this measured move from the bottom. So. That was my next target based on what I was seeing with price action. And now, um, now that it's reached this to the tick, uh, we'll see what happens from here. I'm uh, just uh, keeping patient. Uh, I'm going to have to leave in about 30 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to be uh, out for about an hour. So if I don't see anything in the next half hour or so, um, I'll have to wait until I come back to continue looking for the rest of the day. Let's see what happens. All right, I took a break I had to take. Um, left a little earlier than I expected, and I'm back earlier than I expected. So it's 8.57 now. Uh, we had reached the measured move last I was here. And I'm just going to take a quick look and see if this looks like two legs down. So looks like we've gone further than two legs down. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, looks like I probably missed um, probably missed a setup here. Looks like a PB in hindsight. Not sure if it would have looked like that um, live. It's hard to tell, but potentially missed one setup here, uh, and that's all I I see. Um, for the day so far. So uh, now that I'm back, I uh, should be here for most of the rest of the day. I think I'll have to take one more break in a little bit. Let's see what else happens. All right, still been watching this mess. It's just been uh, completely sideways for some time here. Uh, about an hour and not a lot of action. So just staying patient, waiting for a setup. Uh, Nothing even close to looking like it might set up soon, so uh, we'll be back when something happens. All right, I took a little break. Looks like we finally had a breakout out of this congestion that was going on for about an hour, and I don't think I've missed any uh, setups. So uh, been an up day and and then flat for quite some time. So. Just gonna stay patient. I got plenty of time. It's ten fifteen now. Uh, I'll be trading for at least uh, at least two more hours or so. Let's see what happens. So we just had a massive move down, and I'm just checking right now to see what would happen if that was one leg down, two legs down. So that would already be reached as well right now. Still no setups for me. Just gonna hang and see what what comes next. At least the market's finally moving. It's got some. It's got some movement, and uh, maybe we'll we'll find something here soon. Now that we're not stuck in chop anymore. All right, I'm gonna be watching this for a possible PB if we get a close up here. And get my order ready. Or order submitted. 
if I enter this, I'll be entering on the chart to the left. So you'll see this move without my cursor over here. Waiting for one factor to also get into alignment to make this a valid PB. Bullish bar, closing higher, nope. Could still happen on the next bar. So same thing, just looking for a close up here. And waiting for one other factor on my indicator still to get into alignment. Oh, I'm gonna enter on this chart. If I enter, I'll enter on the chart with my indicator so I don't have to look at one and then try to execute on the other. Let's see if we get a bullish bar here. Uh, no, I do not have all of my indications in place to take this trade. This could be a white PB, but I'm not taking the white PBs right now. Uh, white just means it's uh, it would be a subjective trade for me. It means that not all of my rules are in place. Uh, it's a PB, um, but it's missing one element to make it Order canceled. Gold objective trade. So I'm skipping this, whether it works or not. And uh, I'll pause here and come back and see if it works. And just coming back, it just hit uh, ATIX. Looks like ATIX scalp would have worked here. Uh, this was the uh, PB bar. And it triggered right here. Uh, but like I said, I, you know, I'm still watching uh, this particular setup to see if perhaps it's still worth taking, even though that last indication isn't in place. Uh, but for right now on my Apex accounts, I, I can't take it if all my rules aren't met. Uh, so that would just be subjective at best. And I'm not taking subjective trades to the best of my ability right now. Moving on to the next, just staying patient. All right, and this was interesting for me. Uh, if you measure two legs down from here, oops, let's try this again. Measure two legs down from here, it didn't get there and rocketed the other way. And it looks like if you measure two legs up, this would be the target um, meeting resistance right at the previous day's high. Uh, so interesting for me, um, you know, maybe if I was taking this in the context, the second leg down wasn't met, maybe that would give me a reason to enter on a subjective trade here. Things I'm thinking about for the future, um, uh, but not for right now. I'm definitely not taking these anytime soon, uh, but I think maybe if I see that there's a measured leg that's not reached, maybe there's a reason to say, okay, well now you can expect a second leg in the opposite direction, uh, which would give a, a white trade a little bit more reason to enter. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd make that comment for myself here and let's move on. All right, it's about 11.15. I've got about an hour left. Just keeping my eye on this. This might be one of my newer setups, um, setting up to the short side. Looks like we've had a couple attempts to uh, reach the measured move and kind of a failed breakout if you're looking at it like a Pats uh, trader. Let's see how this bar ends. If it ends bearish, it's potential for a setup 
One of my newer ones, so I'm a little bit more hesitant about it. If it does do it, we'll see. It looks like it's going the other way. So it's not in play here. I'll pause and keep waiting. All right, recording again, just to... Order submitted. See how this closes down here. I'm not sure I'll take it, but I'm just seeing if it even fits the rules um, once it closes. No, not bearish enough. Order canceled. I'll keep waiting. So, of course, I wasn't paying attention, and then we finally did get a bearish bar. That uh, looks like it satisfies the rules of one of my new setups. The low here, 0450, and the low here. So, 0425 would be the entry. 0150. So, would have worked. Uh, I'm not sure I'm taking these trades yet, even if I do see them in real time, uh, but I'm just taking note of this mentally. Uh, it's another one that, that would have worked if, uh, if I was taking them and if I was paying attention. All right, see if anything else comes up. Well, it is now 1221 and I'm just about to wrap up my day here. I'll give it a few more minutes to see if something evolves, but... Uh, just no setups today at all. Uh, so I'll, uh, do my wrap up video, uh, here in a minute or two. And unless something sets up real soon, which doesn't feel like it will, uh, this will probably be the end of the video. And, uh, you can check out my, my quick summary today in the other, uh, playlist. Uh, not very exciting stuff today since no trades, but maybe I'll have something interesting to say. Let's see. All right. Thanks. Yeah, all right. Just about 1225. I've had it for the day. This has just been sideways for, uh, two hours for the most part. And, uh, uh I'm going to call it here. So this is the end of this video and, uh, check out my wrap up video in the other playlist. Thanks. Bye.